Hello guys, okay, so it's another weekend actually and today I want to show you my workspace. I want to show you guys what my working space today got so it's Saturday, so let's have fun. So this is actually the main entrance, it's locked. Yeah. It's locked. So I'll be going in through the back door where I actually come in from. It's straight, um, it's closer to my kitchen door. So that's how I'll be going in through. Yeah, you're welcome to my sewing space. Yeah, so this is where I actually draw my, my magic. This is where I do my magic. Yeah, and this is actually my, my baby. This is my baby. So this is my baby. So I have this. I just draw a sewing machine. And what do we call this? Is it a cupboard, a shelf, whatever? So this is where I keep what clothes. I have, I have a lot of ankaras I still want to sew for tutorials. So these are, this up here are basically outfits. That's the outfits now. They're basically what ankaras that I want to sew. They're not yet cut. They are just materials. Yes, so I have ankara. I have a dry lace there. I have different materials up here and down here I have pieces these are Ankara pieces mostly not a tiny tiny pieces I still have a store where I actually put my tiny tiny pieces the store is so messy right now so we are not going to see I'm not showing you that so yeah I have what um my Ankara pieces 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 of outfit I've made yeah that I still want to use them that are still what full like this now this is almost like more than a yard of pieces yes and I have my mesh net here I also have other um sample nets here yes so those are basically what I have and down here I have my linings my doll face I think yeah that's it basically my linings are my doll face Yes, my satins, everything that you can use to what's line in clothes. These are what I have down here. And in this place, I think I have outfits that I've made. Let me put that place is a mess. Outfits that I've made that I use that I wear on my manicure. Yes, that I wear on my manicure for this play. And that was when I was still opening regularly, but for now they are just there. So up here I have my threads, now she need those needles um oil for my manual machine or should i say domestic machine now and haul down here i have my elastic my st no not st my hemming glue this is my hemming glue this one is almost finished so this is a bigger one bias binding appliques and haul same here i have my appliques my crinoline um boning yeah i think this is boning yeah this is boning and zips and this is an applique see this beautiful applique i've actually used it on the dress before but later i removed it yeah and it's so expensive i think i got it around around 35k for this applique yeah, it's actually a full body. Let me show you. <coughs> For a full front. So this is it. This is it. Let's see. So how's that? Let me pack it. So this is my industrial machine. It is actually a computerized machine. Um, what do they call it now? I've forgotten the name. Huh? Yeah. So I can set my numbers for the speed. Yeah. Or reduce it. Yeah. If I want it to go very slow, I reduce. I think the highest speed is like three thousand plus or five thousand. 
okay three seven this is the highest so and i can go lower so i actually prefer this to the other one that has a motor on that this one doesn't have a motor on that okay so it is called the direct drive yeah so i remember the name it's called direct drive sewing machine so this does not have a motor on that so i think i think this is the lowest now 200 so that is that let me pull it off yeah so moving on this is my baby here yeah? i know most of you have seen this mirror me and this mirror we are stuck together so this is where i take my pictures sometimes my mirror is it mirror picture or whatever they call it so this is it <laughs> so i actually have these two domestic machines they were actually three before but due to sapa i had to sell one yeah that was shop i cannot come and die and that was last year i sold one last year so these are it so when there's no lights and should i say most times i don't even so when there's no light i always run away from using this one bag 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 please yeah this is my mannequin this is my mannequin baby so this is a circle so this place is actually what a garage in my house i don't know if you have an idea of what the garage looked like in those in olden days houses so it has a garage so i actually turned the garage into what my sewing space that's why there are pipes look at there are pipes here yes i'm always careful not to get too close to the pipes come out of post water in glory <laughs> so and this is my board yeah where i jot when i want to make videos i jot um i give i write key points there for my sit and talk videos most times i write key points there so see so this was actually my first sewing machine this was my first sewing machine. I got it in 20... Is it 2018 now or 19? I think 2019. Yeah, so this is my first sewing machine that my husband actually got for me. Yeah. So I think it was after that, then I bought... Let's come here. And I got this machine. And this has been my baby still my baby even after having this this is still what's my baby it's it's just it's just always there for me it never breaks my heart and when i sew maybe i have a special occasion outfit i made for someone i can carry it a lot in the car just put it in my boots then i go along with it so that's it so it's it's portable i carry it so where there's lights i've used it in hotels before when there's adjustments and all that so it's just carryable like this. And it actually does my buttonholes stitches. It does my zigzag stitching. It has a lot of stitch on it. Different stitch on it. So it has different stitch on it. Can see. So it's just to set it. Now this is A. So when it's on A, it gives me stitch like this. This straight stitch. When it's on B, it gives me this zigzag stitch. So like that, like that, just change the alphabet and all that. Yeah. So, and this is my tabletop weaving machine. It's been long I used it. It has been giving me issue to work today, tomorrow. So I just left it here. She'll be enjoying its life. She'll not come and stress me. So, and uh, from there, we have this my pressing irons my irons no i said irons now this is the normal iron yeah we've seen this baby in the videos before and this is my industrial iron yes it has a place for water this place pour water inside and it's come out from this place and see it's dirty so it's been long i used it I actually use this most times with my spray bottle. Yeah. So, and this, I use it for stoning. I also use it for ironing sometimes. I actually want that to package clothes and I want it to be very flat so that it can enter the um, nylon, packaging nylon easily. So, I use my steam press. So, this is my steam press. So, this is the socket I use them with. So, that's why I have them there. I use them on a separate socket. 
Yeah. So actually, this is actually what the main entrance from outside. This is the entrance from outside. I've shown you the outside before. And this is, you can see this table here, which is what I used for ironing when I was still open. Because I still use this place as a mini fashion school. I stopped for a while. I'll still, I'll still resume back. But for now, I'm just on a short break from fashion school and that. So I'll resume soon, I hope. So I think you guys have seen everything. This is it. So let's go. Yeah. So that's all, all for my workspace. I'll catch you guys in my next video. Have a beautiful weekend. Bye.